नहीं सके बस In Bangladesh, we had only one news channel in 2001. It's the private news channel, apart from uh, BTV and the government-sponsored news channel, which obviously only shows government-sponsored programs. But today, I'm proud to say we have 32 news channels. They're all private. There are talk shows and political talk shows. <coughs> one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the late night, one at 2 a.m. in the morning. There's just no end to it. I urge upon the Bangla media here to tell the positive story, to connect to the mainstream media, particularly the young people here. The top, today's topic is extremely difficult for me, but I know one thing. Every one dollar of advertisement, 90 cents goes to Google and Facebook. Today's, uh, in today's world, Shottabani, the fact that Shottabani is an online news portal is actually quite profitable. It's for celebrating the second anniversary of the Shottabani in the UK. I also want to thank the, the young gentleman who was just here, who's uh, the uh, president of the Queen Mary Students Association. Am I correct? Yes. Student yes. Union. And team, the organization tells us uh, in, in, the year, in, in 2007 and uh, 2017, 78 journalists were killed worldwide and 326 were imprisoned by governments on a variety of charges. 300 journalists, 300 journalists have been murdered in more than 40 countries. Bangladesh is not an easy country to understand and report, but it is, I believe, interesting, significant, and to some extent, inspirational. It sends a proud message to the rest of South Asia. Look, look at what can be done when the focus is on progress. Meeting about journalism in today's world, I thought we would have a look to begin with at some of the headlines from today's newspaper. This is Courtney Kardashian. And the headline today, which is making the most attention online, is that his pre-workout drink caused a heart attack. I went into the gym earlier than my husband, Kevin, he was dropping off our youngest daughter. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, Shotabani. I would like to convey my thanks and my heartfelt appreciation for the warmth and sincerity with which you have brought me into your fold. We are here to acknowledge and celebrate Shotabani's anniversary. I can tell during my time what was there and why it has, according to your version, the deteriorated or something, what you call it. The thing is, which, to me, there's a lack of editorial institution. The plight of journalists uh, across the world, I think, really was an eye opener for those of us who weren't aware. Um, obviously, how can we get more women involved? How can we get them to this position so that there is a bit more... My question is about uh, Bangladeshi media. How do you see Bangladeshi media in future? Uh, so we get the any information we stand it, but what is not happening is that the, the biggest thing with is the people. I worked for BBC and ITN for 22 years in the newsroom. A lot of the time, in many places I spoke about my grandfather being in the British Indian Army in the first year. It's not only Bangladeshi community uh, in relation to journalism is experiencing this.